Hey, this is Mike from EpicMarketer.com, and in this video, we're going to talk about post amplification. So, post amplification is where you take a single piece of content, like for example, this video, and you amplify its reach. So, this video, I'm doing this on my iPhone in my car, and once I'm done uh, recording this, I'm going to use otter.ai, that's, uh, I'll just put it on the screen, O-T-T-E-R.ai, and you can use it for free up to a certain point, uh, or you can do their monthly fee, which is only 10 bucks a month. And if you're doing a lot of content, and I suggest you do a lot of content, um, then it's 10 bucks a month, right? It's a no-brainer. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use otter.ai to transcribe this video and the downside to this is if I say um or ah uh, or okay too much it's gonna show up in the text but I don't care because I know that the people that are watching this video or reading this content are actually looking for answers to a problem they're not necessarily caring about if I'm wearing a t-shirt versus a tie or I've got crap in my back seat or whatever right so now to amplify it, what I do is I take that content and I upload that video to YouTube. I put the text from otter.ai as well as the um, what I always put in all of my YouTube videos, which is links to my academy, links to uh, my products, you know, the, the standard uh, disclaimer as far as affiliate links, things like that. I put all that in there. And what that does is that fills up your description in YouTube with relevant words because if we're talking about this topic there's going to be subtopics or related topics that are just naturally going to come up in the conversation so the next thing that I do is I take that same video and I upload it to Google my business as well as the text and a link to the post uh, I take the YouTube video and I put it on my blog post as well as the text and I make an image that uh, you can use unsplash.com for free images and you can use this uh, software like Canva which is free uh, so is unsplash by the way and uh, and you can put text on top of it with your your title and just try and make it where it's not all blah you want it to where it stands out just think of thumbnails that are popular on YouTube videos right so I put that in there I put a um, an image of a quote from the actual post something in there that's relevant something that kind of sums it up uh, and that's another image in there that has the alt tag of whatever the post is titled okay so it's boosting your SEO rankings in your blog and now when you put it on Google my business that points back to your blog post that'll also give it more love from Google you put it on YouTube which points to your website which again amplifies that content and then I also put a, a link to it and a, that image on Twitter on Pinterest on Instagram all of them have a hashtag and the title and a link to you know read more or watch the video at and a link to the blog post and I put it on all those different sites as well as LinkedIn and um, that's it that's post amplification it's going out to seven or eight different places and they're all very intentional about pointing back to your website okay one of the things that's really important to remember is all these social media platforms will come and go okay some of them might last for a long time who knows but if you look at ones that used to be popular like myspace or yahoo or you know or geo cities or whatever they're not really around anymore so you don't want to base your business on that you want to have your business based on your WordPress site and have all these social media platforms pointing back to your site now one quick tip um, that I'll, I'll go into detail more on a future video is to be sequential with that content like part one and part two so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments please let me know below and we'll talk to you soon